Okay, so this question was uh, directly from a concept which is there in the chapter, uh, financial modeling chapter. Jo unhane FSMA bola hai, but I had I have mentioned that this is a chapter of equity. So over here, ke how long should be the time horizon? Okay, ki kitna jada time horizon hota hai while forecasting. Like normally, like when we are gonna let's say forecast ko out Zomato ka share price. Ki Zomato ki, manab, when I'm gonna do the forecasting. Kabhi na kabhi wo share se exit karunga. At some point of time, I'm gonna be exiting from that share. So when is that going to be? Like how long I'm gonna keep my uh, investing? How long I'll be keeping my money invested in that share? So uska ek formula unhone mention kiya textbook mein. I don't know if you have seen that. How many of you have seen this formula? The forecasting horizon is equal to one upon portfolio turnover. What do you mean portfolio turnover by the way? 17 percentage of turnover tha. Uska matlab kya hai? Iska matlab hai that basically suppose aapka portfolio hai 1 lakh ka. To 1 lakh ka 17 percentage matlab 17,000 ka portfolio you are going to change. Matlab you are going to remove those, so you are going to sell those share and replace it by the new shares. And the remaining 83,000 ke shares you are going to keep it as it is. So out of 1 lakh 17 percentage 17,000 and 83 percentage 83,000. So 83,000 ka portfolio you are not going to touch and 17,000 ke jo shares hai, bonds hai, you are going to sell them and you are going to replace it by the new shares and the new bonds. So that is what is called as 17 percentage turnover. 17 percentage of your total portfolio 1 lakh. So 17 percent of 1 lakh 17,000 ka uh, shares you are going to replace them by new shares and the remaining 83,000 shares you are going to continue. And the formula which I was asking, raise and if you had seen that formula in the chapter, raise and how many had seen that formula? I'll show you that. I'll show you that. Okay, good. Good, Tanvir, good, Tisha. I'll show you this formula. Horizon equal to 1 upon portfolio turnover. So it becomes 1 upon 17 percentage. Okay, so let's do it. 1 upon 17 percentage. So this question of like, if you, if you have seen that, you will be able to get that. What upon 17 percent that is like 5.88, 5.88 matlab close to 6 years. Okay, I'll just open that uh, chapter and I'll just show you that so that you get satisfaction ki haan ye hai and next time if it, if someone like, if it asks in the exam or mock exam, so you should be able to crack that. Just give me one minute, I'm just trying to show you that. That's the chapter. See over here, a portfolio with a 25% turnover has holding period of four years. That is one upon 25%. And our case may be same, one upon 17%. Okay, so it is there in the LOS 40.E, just the first line. Ha, but I will tough for this question because they didn't highlight or bold. So if it is in the key concept, let me see if it is in the key concept. If it is in the key concept, then I will not call this question a difficult question. Let me see in the key concept, did they cover this? Uh, no, they are not covered. So here you go, appropriate forecast horizon. To use maybe the expected holding period of a stock, but what is that? One upon turnover. Yeah, formula only mentioned nahi kiya tha. So take a note of this so that next time you remember this that the the portfolio. I mean, the, for the buy side analyst, by the way, there are two analysts. One is buy side and one is sell side. Buy side analyst analyze karke actually paisa invest karta hai. Sell side analyst if analysis karke dusro ko recommend karta hai. Buy side analyst not only analyzes but actually invest the money, and sell side analyst simply analyzes and ask others, give the recommendation to the others to invest, which is like a brokerage houses do. So sales and analysts are nothing but broker brokerage houses. Buy side analysts is nothing but portfolio manager, mutual fund manager, hedge fund manager. So take a note of this formula, buy side analyst, I'm sorry, horizon for buy side analysts equal to one upon portfolio turnover. I just mentioned 40.E, it was there in this 40.E. All right, so I'll not call this as a very easy question. It, it was a tough question there because it was not in the key concepts it was not in the bold area. At least if it was key concepts, I would have call it easy. Ya fir agar ye, sorry, wo upar agar suppose, kaha kya ho? Let me just see. If it would have been there, 
over here in the bold, then I would have called that as an easy question. It is not there, so I will call it as a difficult question.